What is up guys, Tomas Keck from Wild New England here, and today we are going to be going over nine reasons why the 90D is an absolute beast of a camera. Now I'm sure you've heard, the R5's come out, the R6's come out, and all of the big camera companies, especially Nikon and Canon, are shifting their gaze toward the mirrorless future that a lot of our cameras seem to be going towards. The 90D was a bit of an anomaly. No one thought that Canon would come out with a camera like this. Think about it. This camera came out in 2019. There was basically DSLRs were on the way out by then. I think. The only other two DSLRs that came out around the time as the 90D were the Canon 1DX Mark III and their other, uh, the T8i. That does not negate the fact that this camera is awesome. This is my go-to camera for wildlife shooting. In my opinion, this is the best wildlife designed camera that you can buy for under $2,000. Easy. And today we are going to be going over nine reasons why. Reason number one, that 33 megapixel sensor. It has the most megapixels out of any crop sensor body out there right now. And that's really good for wildlife photographers like us who want that reach, that who want that 1.6 crop factor. So when, when we use something like a, I don't know, let's see what we got in here. When we use something like a 400 millimeter lens, all of a sudden it jumps to 600 millimeters. That's freaking awesome, especially when you take into account that this is a 400 millimeter 5.6. When you use that on a crop sensor camera, you got a 600 millimeter 5.6. That's crazy. You're gonna be getting some great images from that. The 33 megapixels also enables it when I can like get photos of, of birds and be able to crop down super, super tiny even when that bird's far away. You can all attest to this. Nine times out of 10, the lens ain't long enough. You're gonna be going, oh man, I wish I had another 400 millimeters to this 400 millimeter lens. The 90D enables it, so you don't really have to worry about that anymore. Just crop down and you should be fine. I've had great experiences. I'll tell you what, personal story. I was out on an assignment in New Hampshire photographing loons with the Loon Preservation Committee, and I was documenting their research. I photographed this loon, and I looked at the frame and I'm like, crap, it's really far away. The whole photo is off kilter. It just, it just looks nasty. I tweaked it a bit in terms of cropping it down and tilting it back to normal. And boom, I got this amazing image that it was probably one of my favorite photos of the trip. So that's an example of, of what a 33 megapixel sensor can do. Reason number two, the 90D is a beast is its 4K resolution. Now, most cameras, especially cameras that are around this price range, and just so you know, this is from the enthusiast to like semi-pro price range, you're going to be getting cameras with a 4K setting, but it's cropped. So, for crop sensor cameras especially, already a 18 millimeter lens is going to turn into 28.8 millimeters because you have to multiply 18 times 1.6 and then you get 28.8. When you are then shooting in 4K, it's already cropping down and all of a sudden, it's not even 28.8 anymore. It's gonna be like 34 millimeters. So you turned an 18 millimeter lens into like a, I don't know, like a 30 or 40 millimeter lens. You don't want that, especially when you're trying to get some wide angle stuff. The 90D isn't cropped. The 4K is not cropped on this camera and it also has a crop setting just in case you're taking videos of wildlife and you need some extra reach. So you don't have to choose. It has a 4K uncropped setting and it has a crop setting. So you get the best of both worlds, especially with something like wildlife when you need that extra reach, but if you're shooting something else, you don't have to have it cropped. Reason number three, and I'll just let you hear this. I mean, there's really, there's really nothing else to be said. Let's see. Ten frames per second. That is golden. That is a golden number when it comes to wildlife shooting. Think of it this way: the Canon 1DX Mark II, I think, shoots up to 16 frames per second when you're shooting in servo. This shoots 10. The Canon top-of-the-line pro camera, 
I mean, it is the predecessor of the Mark III, but the Mark II only has six more frames than this guy, which is about, what, a fourth, a third of the price? That's awesome. And here's the best part. When you switch this to its mirrorless mode, which is basically live view mode, it gets even faster. It can shoot up to 11. So when you're shooting that bird, that owl flying by, or that hawk flying by, or that tiny little warbler flying by, you're gonna be very happy to see that you have a large array of photos to choose from. Reason number four, it's video quality. So we already discussed a little bit about the 4K settings, but let's go a little bit more in depth in some of the other settings that are in this camera. So it has 4K and 24 frames per second, and just so you know, the base software does not have the 24 frames per second. So if you are planning on shooting in 24 frames per second, download the new software update. Canon released a new software update. So please, please, please consider doing that. It also has 4K 30 frames per second, and then it has 1080, 24, 30, 60, and then 120 frames per second. Oh, so you're gonna be getting some nice, silky, smooth B-roll. And for a wildlife photographer like me, this is the best thing ever because I can be shooting this wildlife, these hummingbirds, those owls in slow motion, catching those nice, silky, smooth wing beats. That is a, a must for me. Now, a quick disclaimer, that 120 frames per second setting does not have autofocus. So if you're gonna be doing that, you have to plan on where that, where that bird's coming in. So for example, you're shooting a nest or you're photographing, I don't know, like a cliff that a bird regularly lands on. That's something to consider. Number five, the ergonomics on this camera are awesome. You have your wheel, you have your eight direction joystick. You have your top backlit LCD screen. You have its flippy screen. You have total access to the side with mic input. You have a touch screen. And all of this is further enhanced by its weather sealing. Reason number six is probably a given for most of you. If you're a wildlife photographer, you want a camera that is weather sealed. This camera is weather sealed, so you do not have to worry about bringing this camera out in the snow, out in the water. I'm not saying for you to drop this camera in a big vat of acid, but what I am saying is this camera will survive the conditions with you. Reason number seven. Oh, the battery life in this camera, it's amazing. You get 1,300 shots per battery. Reason number eight, the viewfinder. I think it uses the same technology. Actually, yes, it does use the same technology as the 5D Mark IV and might even be the 1DX Mark II. So the 90D is really, really good with that. You also get your little flippy screen, which is awesome for you video vloggers out there and people who take video. I take a lot of nature photography and a lot of nature video. So for example, when I was shooting on a kayak, when I was shooting loons, I put my camera nice and low took out the LCD screen and was able to get shots from all the way down here and was able to get that nice clean bokeh um, by making it so that the subject was at the same level as the camera. Number nine, number nine is quite simple, access to all the EF glass. Now listen, I am aware that there are adapters out there, but it must bring peace of mind that you don't have to worry about any adapters when it comes to using Sigma using Tamron and using Canon lenses. I have some Tamron lenses that are my favorite lenses. They're, they're just so easy to use. I'm shooting with a 15 to 30 millimeter f2.8 right now, and they're just a dream to use. I want to be able to use those lenses on this body. Fortunately, I can't because it supports all the EF mounts. If you're comparing this camera to, I don't know, Sony, something like that, maybe Nikon, you won't be able to get lenses like this beautiful 100 to 400 millimeter f5.6 that essentially turns into a 600 millimeter f5.6 lens. So anyway guys, this video was brought to you by Milford Photo. Milford Photo is a local store in Milford, Connecticut that also offers online shopping. Now. They are knowledgeable, they're friendly, and best of all, they know how to set you up with the, the Canon, Nikon, Sony, Sigma, Tamron setup that you desire most. If you are not sure what lens to buy, I've had many times where they've come in, they've helped me choose what setup that I should go for, for what I'm trying to shoot, and they just took it from there, and they helped me pick out the stuff that I wanted. Anyway guys, I hope you enjoyed this video about my favorite camera, the Canon 90D. And as a quick disclaimer here, I have shot with a lot of really nice bodies like the Canon 5D Mark IV, the 
Nikon D810, some really nice bodies. So take that all into account when I talk about this camera. This is a great camera. You can't go wrong if you buy this camera. Be sure to check out my Instagram, wild underscore new underscore England underscore wild new England. 